Okay, this is my new Razer Deathstalker Ultimate. Uh, a friend of mine bought it for me actually for my birthday. And as you can see, none of the Switchblade app lights are lit up. They don't do anything if you touch them. If you go to the Switchblade app button, it doesn't light up no matter how many times I do the slide scroll. <clears throat> I'm trying to get Razer to RMA this, and they keep sending me a download link to the firmware updater. So I'm making this for their for their sake so they can see I'm downloading their firmware updater. And as you can see, this is the third time I've downloaded this firmware updater. So we'll, uh, we'll download it. And it's finished down here. We'll open it up. And we'll let it update. Notice it says it already has the target firmware. I don't know if you can actually read that or not, but it says, Your device already has the target firmware. Do you wish to proceed? I'll click yes anyway. And as you can see, it's going through. It disconnected the keyboard. And now it's back, update completed, and the keyboard's back on. Now, as you'll notice, it had no change in the functionality of those buttons. None of that changes. Okay? So I'll exit that. <coughs> now, I'll go ahead and exit Synapse and reopen it. And... There's Synapse and go to the dust stalker and as you can see I can customize it, I can change my lightings, I can ch set, do the game gaming mode, the settings but when I click on apps it just sort of sits there and freezes nothing actually happens and I can sit here and wait for forever nothing will ever actually pop up so no matter what I do on the keyboard here the, the switchblade apps do not work I've, this is the latest switchblade firmware or software as you can see your software is up to date Okay. Now, they've tried to say that this is a Windows 8 issue. Unfortunately, I've done this on my Windows 7 laptop and my Windows 7 desktop. The other issue is, if I restart the keyboard, notice I've got the keyboard plugged into my front USB ports here because, and I've tried every port on the computer, and this happens on my other desktop too, it's a Dell XPS, I don't know the exact model. But, if I go to shut down, whoops, if I go to restart, and you'll notice that with the keyboard plugged in, the computer will not even post. I'm not saying it's trying, it's, you know, they're trying to tell me it's trying to boot from the computer and to change the boot settings and BIOS. I have done that. All other boot devices other than my hard drive are disabled, but as you'll notice, once the, once the video card reinitializes, you'll see that it will not even post. See? It's stuck right there. There's a key, there's an error on the motherboard. So you can see it down there, the little 50. That 50 is a USB initialization error. Once I looked it up in the motherboard manual. Now, watch a little bit of magic here. All I do Unplug the Razer Death Stalker keyboard. Power off my computer. Power it back on. And as you'll see, it had never even made it to the boot process because the first thing it does once it gets past that 50 is start the boot process. Check the RAM, there it found all my hard drives, and it's booting normally. Now, once it gets past that part, I can actually plug the desk stalker back in and use it as a nominally functional keyboard. Unfortunately, the Switchblade apps, which are one of the main reasons I wanted this keyboard, still don't work. So, as you can see, they didn't light back up pressing the app home button and scrolling through, nothing happens.
and I'll let uh, I'll let it get back in here so they can't say that I didn't finish rebooting or anything like that. Unfortunately, I've been fighting with Razor over a week now through me email. They've been they've told me three times to update this firmware. <sighs> and it's getting a little frustrating. So, what I'm going to do is go back into Synapse and show you that the apps still won't work. Sorry, I'm trying to use my left hand here to do most of this. Cuz I'm holding the camera with my right hand. I'm going to pause it for a second until Synapse comes up. Actually, no I'm not. I don't want to give them any damn excuses. Okay. Synapse. It's back up here in the corner. Open Razor Synapse. Okay. As you can see, Synapse is back open. I've still got the lighting controls, gaming controls, everything. And all that's working just fine until I click Apps. And that just sort of freezes there. And I never see the next, I never see the App tab. I have tried uninstalling and reinstalling Synapse several times. I would do that on camera too, but at this point, it's obviously pointless. So, thanks for watching.